Hola mis amores, this is Kirby Miri here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a short game called Vanish Falls. Um, first of all, it's very good to see you all again. I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a lovely day, afternoon, night, depending on your time zone. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking this moment of your time and watching today's video. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank if you guys you. enjoyed this type of content, be sure to drop the like button. It really helps out a lot. If you're not subscribed to the channel, would appreciate it if you do. Also, leave your comments and your thoughts on this video or anything in, or anything in general. Jeez, I don't know how to speak. Okay, so this game called Vanish Falls is a game that an indie dev requested that uh, is solo. And um, uh, I'm going to be reading the message. So this the message says, Hey, a Kirby Mary 17. I'm a solo dev from Spain, now creating a new indie studio, only soft game studios. And I've been following your YouTube channel for a while. I really like the style on your gameplays, reviews, and want to say thanks for the job of helping the gamers and communities and indies. I'm developing a really huge, intense mystery story here, and for now, I can release a pilot character for Android devices. On the one hand, I thought that it might interest you as something that brings the soul of old school survival horror experiences inside of the heart of the new terror games to play and have a good time. On the other hand, on a personal level, it is always an honor to share my work if you want to play it or take a look. But yeah, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Again, in my case, I've been trying to record this game a couple of times already, and so it's been a bit difficult and very challenging. But I want to give this game a chance, uh, you know, because I, I, I kind of want to. I really want to, and so, yeah, I just, you know... I just hope that uh, uh, I'm able to record this time because it's been pretty difficult, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this and we're going to check the game out. Okay. Oh god, I could be bounded in a nutshell and count myself a king of infinite space where not that I have bad dreams. Let's get to it. Onisoft Games Studio. So the game kind of reminds me of, well, <laughs> Resident Evil, like that motorcycle intro with Cl like Claire Redfield. Armageddon, it. EA Asylum. <laughs> yeah, I keep messing with the EA Asylum stuff. Señorita Swan, sé que me escucha. Oh yeah, Spanish dialogue. I forgot this ad. But don't worry, there's English subtitles. I mean, see if I can fix a little bit. So I can. There we go. Also, when I saw this the first time, I was like, is this a spy horror game? Is she and Ada Wong wannabe? LOL! <laughs> also, graphics are not everything. I'm just judging this game based on the gameplay, and so yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Robert Schwab y espero que este caso que investigo sea mi memento mori para todos vosotros. No sé si los que me han traído aquí me la han jugado o realmente me han dado. Todavía sigo pensando, me la han jugado, suena tan feo. <risa> yes, two hours before, yeah, two hours before. Esta llamada de madrugada, esa voz de mujer que me sacó anoche de una fantástica borrachera y me llevó a ese antro. No confío en esta gente y aún así me parecen mucho más fiables que ese cabrón del jefe de policía y su equipo investigando este caso de desapariciones. Y he aprendido a medir el tiempo en tragos de absenta y cerveza. Creo que Mamá, la bebé. apareció sobre la sexta jarra. Nadie allí quería mirarme a los ojos, ni tan siquiera el barman mientras se me servía. 
el alcohol hacía su efecto. El resto lo hicieron los ojos de esa confidente y sus palabras llenas de misterio resonando en las paredes. En ese momento, vi en el espejo al heraldo de la muerte. Justo en ese instante sentí como se apagaba secuencialmente mi cerebro, no tanto un sabor amargo en la garganta, mientras sentía mi propio vómito en los pies. Eww. ¿Y ahora qué? ¿Y ahora qué? One now, boy. Okay, so that's a little bit of the intro what you're getting here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start. So I'm gonna do the new star, and then we'll go back with. Cause I already know what to do. It's not gonna be that complicated. Wake up, sleepyhead. We're kind of wounded, but we Gucci. Voodoo Diaries 3. Deceased Benberry girl, however many locals claim, have seen her alive days later, turn into a being without will and ruthlessly violent. For a moment, I harbored a stupid hope that she would recognize me, but her eyes do not belong to her anymore, and her gaze was the gaze of others, those who kill everyone who look. this. Seba tree roots, small roots of Seba tree, a sacred tree whose components have an extremely mystical value and meaning for the members of the wise council and the police. They will be essential on the path that awaits you with robbers since with them you will be able to create voodoo amulets. To build these amulets you'll need to collect both branches and small roots of Seba so you can make different kind and release its power. As you create Loa summon amulets, robber skills as necromancy will level up. You'll choose in specific moments, mark a time point in the scene to respond there if you leave the game or if he dies. Roots and branches of Seba tree are scarce, preserve and use them amulet and uh, I already know what to do. So I'm just gonna see Okay. Don't allow the being you have transferred into die or your soul will stay wandering and won't be able to find its way home. It'll be captured by any creature and detects it and nearby helpless. You must understand this. If what I'm telling you happens, it will be up to you to trust or not what you hear or see. You'll be alone to try to escape, negotiate, or fight to return. If you fail, the soul will be swallowed by evil eternally. Okay, grab this. That's my backpack, backpack. And this is important. This is important. Okay. <clears throat> We are mechanism. A really rare mechanism on a metal base. I can clearly read a word engraved on it. What the hell is the meaning of all this? Those bastards from the den kidnapped and brought me to the shed to play with this stang? A kind of ceramic bullet hell at this base by a blue material that I haven't seen in my life. Supposed to get it out? But how? I'm gonna thoroughly inspect this ghoulish place and then search for answers. Craftsman's Bench. Evil feeds on its own torment. You'll be the master craftsman who molds their crappy lives. Craftsman's Bench helps Robber develop new weapons, equipment, or improve and repair the one he has. Choose the task you want to undertake. The objects collected up to that moment will appear on the bench to recombine, join, break, mold it, etc. As you're crafting, your knowledge will increase and take you to create level up quality objects and collect better materials to be able to develop them. Okay. Mm. What a sick joke this is! Yesterday, my little kid Damien showed me a drawing identical to this one. He told me very scared that he saw those things in his nightmares. How the hell is it possible that another child has drawn exactly the same thing? Calendula. A rope to whip people like Indiana Jones. Now we just gotta trigger this. My hand hurts for some reason. What a effing mess you got me into. I feel like a last bullet in my revolver facing a pack of wolves. This ladder is broken. We must find a way up, pal. Let's see if I can pick up the chair. Because sometimes it does not want to be picked up. There we go. Now you found the one to pick it up? Bruh.
go up here. Let's trigger this. Bro, just interact. Why are you always making everything so complicated? Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro, interact with the kid. There's nothing in this game interact with. Okay, there we go. That gill key. I'm really effed up to jump over there. These wood sticks next to the barrels are too short. But maybe join to something else. Look at this. This is one of the things we're gonna need. Get up. Let's see here. All this crap starts to drive me nuts. I look at these photographs and a cold sweat runs down my forehead. They seem to take it a long time ago. In the scratch and harm images, I can see myself unconscious in the shed, but if those photos were taken by the odd characters at the den who locked me up here last night, that is supposed to have happened a few hours ago. But how did they lead me to this nightmare? Well, they really did put me in without my permission. It almost implied that I thanked them. I swear you that I know the police very well, and especially the area next to the first wall where I live. The bizarre alley I am sure was never there show its job with the same predatory attitude of the woman with the sensual voice that came out later, ruling over the others who were there drinking and talking crap whose content or barely her wasn't I able to understand. Um, I think I should, could reach that key using this skewer. It seems too short though. Let's take it to the crap bench. Sure, we can think of something useful to do. Nope. A woman's head torn off and her body dismembered. Ain't gonna touch anything. Does someone want to incriminate me for whatever happened here? Wait, I see something edge on the back of her neck. Probably write that down. Where's my notebook? Yep, now I have this. Let's go back down. Come on, get me out of here. Oh wait, I gotta... Get this here, yeah, for sure, but... Good. Let's go back up, I forgot we gotta do the lockpick thing. Now the lockpick thing is a very complicated puzzle, but... We're gonna try it again. show okay damn it I broke it There we go. Okay. Emergency healing. Robert has a gross hangover from last night's drunkness. Moreover, those uh -huh, drug him brought his ass here. The ever drugs is striking deep inside his brain. He is injured now, so his agility and speed go down. So he seems to be healing up. I think we don't need to necessarily stand there. We can, we can just go down, put this here. Now this part I did thought it was cool. You'll see what I'm talking about. Go up here. Grab Zakai. Come on, grab it. Tickle, tickle, key. Tickle, tickle to the key. Gotcha! Okay, let's go back down. 
Sorry if the game is kind of loud, because, uh, yeah. Huh? Is this? Okay, I've joined the two halves, and it's kind of a scheme that appears with some hexagons. Paper is really thin and transparent. Whoever drew this seems to want to get rid of it. So, okay. So, what are we going to do here versus... Read. Book of Souls. Someone has left this book for me, but it is impossible to open it and read it. Some strange dark force is keeping it sealed, and I can feel the power emanating from it. I hope to find soon someone of this uh, people to tell me how to remove the seal and take a look at these pages. A move made with human skin is terrifying, but I feel that it must be so important if they have been entrusted to. On the human skin cover of the book, I can clearly see a shape of Aspid, another beetle figure next to it, and the silhouette of a spada. So, this is very... Now, the puzzle we're about to do now is pretty simple. At least this... Well, not really. It wasn't that simple, but uh, now I know what it is. So first, we have to remember when the, the machine said that the word said the scent. We have to look for all the letters here that are on the walls because they literally spell out the scent. Wow. So, but I have to do it in colors too. It's not about the letters; it's about the dot colors there. So the scent. The first one is D. So that means that we gotta do three greens. Then the next is I, which is three reds. Mm -hmm. Then S, but twice, so one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then letter E, which has two reds. And then N, which is up there, has four, which is yellow, amarillo. One, two, three, four. And the last one is T, which is two blues. No, I reset it. There we go. And that's how you do the puzzle if you ever get stuck. Okay, so now that we did that, we gotta do the... Let's do this while we're at it. I think there's still something else left to... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Go up. Gotta go here. Come on. Get up. Get up, get up. This is the answer to those puzzles. So what you gotta do is... If I can get down. Please get me down. Okay. Pick this, pick this, pick this. Make explosive. So uh, these two have to be at 60. Okay, and then these two have to be at uh, 60. Then, no, no, no. I got my way. Yeah, 80. I think it was like that. I don't remember. There we go. Alright. Now we need to try to open the door. And before opening the door, we need to... Uh, Get the hammer, and this is what happens. This is kind of wild. Can't lie, but yeah. That was some big ass explosion. I don't know how I'm not dead. My little other music. Vanish falls over shore. So that was the intro. I think the intro is cool. Created and directed by Joey Lynn. Okay. 
Becca's supernatural instinct. Rubber has left the shed as dust fell, wandering aimlessly has reached a forest glade when darkest nights came up and the temperature keeps dropping. I can feel like he's freezing at seconds. If I can't find something to warm us up, we'll feel death kiss in a minute. The words I read in that note about at the shed about what would happen if Robert died echoes in my mind over and over again. Now, this is pretty simple. Not sure if we have the time to do it, but yeah. We gotta go. Oh god. It's kind of dark still, though, but, yeah. I kind of did this part, too. I, I think we were supposed to die anyways, though, because we need to see a specific cutscene there. So, I'm not sure if it's going to be... Yeah. There we go. I think we still need to die. Yeah, I think we're supposed to die first because we need to watch the cutscene. <laughs> Becca's soul. And there's a headless dude, a head dude, not a headless dude, a head without a body. Oh goodness. Okay. How did your gorgeous soul end up in this rotten dungeon? Within these walls only resound the scream of pain of the voiceless dam. You must escape right now. He'll be back soon. That demon is a mother effer beast who's gonna chop you. I'm gonna chomp your ass. Nothing enjoy more than destroying something pretty. Something really important must be happening for Tenebrath come here to these Lizbeth's dungeons. That crappy witch looks how she are worth every single little hope to break free. But such an evil demon was here at a moment ago, forcing me to see how he flays the soul of that poor condemned man behind you over and over again with his dagger he has left daggers pow his powerful dagger stuck in his head and has gone to bring rabbit rats to put inside every wound you have to steal that weapon and hide it before he comes back i've seen thousands of stolen souls and yours is unique you must feel the deepest darkness to be allowed to see in this effing place silence and shadows can be your salvation in the future mirrors open doors that don't exist and the soul's reflection shows what you can't see okay now we turn face her Her. I, I don't know what's the purpose with this woman, but she's here. Wow! Imago Mortis. Through the pain in the eyes, only dust does the imprisoned soul foresee its freedom. Then we're supposed to get jump scare. And then we pick this up. Can I have that knife? Give it. Please go down. And then. Caught him. I don't know what you're exactly cutting, but yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got an eyeball, and we're gonna eat it. <laughs> Not really. Not really, but uh, yeah. I don't know what's the purpose with her though. So, yeah. Anyways. Can we please go back into the game? Go, 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 go. We need to use this. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, oh my god. OMG, OMG. Give me that. Okay. The rubber dice. The blood is starting to flow again. I'll feel better in a few seconds. There must be someone around to give me a hand. I got no effing idea where I am. Also, again, Robert looks like that character from Fallout. <laughs> I can't lie. I'm so sorry. Now, how's my character doing? Exhaustion 41%. I was confused with the... With what I needed to do. Minus 2 exhaustion. 40s bee wax. Uh, okay. How do I get up here again? Yeah. So there's something here that we may need. So we can get it for now. But we got something. Okay, let's go to this side now. No, no. Uh, over here. Come on. Over here.
there's some body parts. Slaughters and cycles. Pretty nice. A night forest robber. Robert. Robert, Robert. Come on. Come on, bruh. Can I interact with this, sir? Cabin door is totally locked first. It's shed free show, and now this. These people are so paranoid. Through the window glass, I see some kind of hatch in the ceiling. I have to get into the cabin no matter how. No matter what, I gotta get in. I gotta get in. Okay, cool. Got this. And this is where I left off last time because Robert would not pick it up. And not only that, but I didn't know how to uh, fill his exhaustion away. And now I can for some reason. Anyway, so yeah, that's where I left off when I unfortunately couldn't continue. I think the problem with this game is a lot, I think. I understand it's a, a, a solo indie dev who's doing this and it's pre pretty impressive so far for a solo indie dev. But the problem is, it's the puzzles are kind of complicated and sometimes there are things that don't react like you saw how many attempts I did with the freaking ladder and it would just not work and I hate getting stuck it frustrates me um yeah I just want I'm, I wanted a smoother and easier experience and maybe I'm, I'm sounding like I'm but it's just it's hard you saw what I did and it's not like I'm goofing off or doing anything wrong so yeah, it's the problem is the puzzles. When I originally played this game a little bit, I I was very confused with the puzzles, all of them. It took me hours and hours of recording. I was frustrated. Um, and I'm the type of person who just can't deal with difficult stuff. I need things to be easy. Or at least somewhat, you know, I don't, I don't know, somewhat passable, like, because obviously there's a point in the game that no matter how difficult it gets, you can pass it, but this was just a lot, and, um, honestly, I don't know, it, that, that alone can cause some frustration and, and, and make people not want to play your game if you make it too frustrating. Also, what else? The story, I'm not that invested in it, unfortunately. It's just, I have no idea what the hell is going on. It's just starting out like this, and I don't know, I kind of don't feel invested in the story. Um, and yeah, the voice acting is great, although the English translation with the subtitles and text uh, uh, do need some fixing because there's some errors in there. Um, but other than that, it looks okay. It looks impressive for a solo indie dev. Unfortunately, it's because of moments like that that kind of complicate things. And so, yeah, I, I unfortunately, I, like I said, I keep trying to go forward, but I can't do it. I, the only thing I would suggest is to make it the levels at least. Not the level entirely, but I mean, find a way to make it not complicated for any players because if you want people to play your game it's fine to add the challenge but at the same time you gotta take in consideration that uh, whatever challenge you want to add it, it could also be a frustration for some people and that was the case with me unfortunately I can't, I can't pass this point because of that so uh, yeah that's my thoughts on Vanishing Falls. And I know nothing happened. I wish it, there were, because I've seen other Let's Plays and there are like monsters at the very least, I think. And some pretty cool, interesting stuff. But for me, it's very difficult. It's very difficult and I can't deal with it. I, I'm not a patient person either. Like there's a point to it too. There's, there's a limit and that's not me, unfortunately. So yeah, um, sorry about that, Dev. I, I couldn't finish your game. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Um, anyways, um, sorry if this video bores you for a second or anything like that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys, guys want to check out the game yourselves, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a link to his uh, the Dev's channel where they made a video about their game. If you want to check it out, and uh, yeah. 
um thank you guys so much for, for watching if you enjoyed this drop the like button it helps out a lot if you're not subscribed to the channel would appreciate if you do also leave your comments and your thoughts on this video or anything in general and yeah that's pretty much it love you all appreciate you and we'll be seeing you on the next one goodbye